What are some benefits of mediation compared with litigation in the family law context? Hi, I'm Zachary C. Ashby at Pacific Northwest Family Law. I uh, wanted to talk a little bit about the benefits of mediation um, compared with litigation. Now, uh, to get some definitions out of the way, mediation is where you uh, essentially sit down with the other side and you have a neutral mediator who helps you negotiate some kind of settlement agreement. Litigation, on the other hand, is when you have two sides present their case to a judge and the judge makes a ruling. Now, a lot of people think that, oh, if I can only get my case before the judge, I'm, I'm golden, I'm going to win everything because I'm a very reasonable person and my spouse that I'm divorcing is a very unreasonable person and so I will win. Uh, reality, on the other, uh, however, is that the judge um, or court commissioner who is hearing the case uh, is attempting to get to what we call equity. Equity is a fair outcome for both parties, taking into account the long-term effects of the decision. So that the judge um, isn't really looking for a clear right or wrong. They're looking for what is a solution that will work to the benefit or at least work for both parties and uh, that, that I can make uh, within my very broad scope of decision-making power. And let me tell you, a judge uh, in uh, family law has a great deal of latitude. It's not like in civil litigation or criminal litigation where um, in civil either you're liable or you're not, and then you have damage calculations or criminal, cal uh, criminal court where you're either uh, guilty or not guilty, and then you get a sentencing. This is, um, uh, you know, we're going to divide $100. Um, how are we going to do that? Well, 30 to you, 30 to you, 30 to you, um, whatever. Um, and the judge gets to, to make a very broad decisions and it probably will leave both, both sides unhappy. And, and that's just uh, been my experience, unless there's some kind of extreme circumstance to uh, make some kind of different decision. Mediation, on the other hand, um, leaves you with a little bit of control. Mediation, now when I say you sit down with uh, the other party and a mediator, there are some outfits out there that are very inexpensive where you can uh, literally sit at the same table and the mediator will help you, um, who has been trained and maybe has done a lot of mediation, uh, will help you talk to the other side. Uh, in family law, however, this doesn't tend to go over well because if you are able to sit in the same room with your partner or spouse, uh, you might actually be able to reach an agreement already. Family law is much different than any other area of law because you're not dealing with a stranger. You're dealing with someone who knows all of your weaknesses and all of your strengths and has and you know you may know all of their weaknesses and all of their strengths and the two of you can't get along regular mediation in that circumstance really doesn't work well some ways to to improve your chances of mediation when it comes to family law is finding someone who is specialized or or specially trained in family law by either having experience as an attorney in family law or who has done, who works with attorneys doing mediations. Uh, at our firm, for example, we have a list of people who just do family law mediations or, or have enough experience and that we've tested them, vetted them, so we know that they do a good job. In a family law mediation, uh, what we typically will do is each party is in a separate room and you never look at the other party in the eye or interact with them directly. Uh, what happens then is a mediator will go back and forth between the parties trying to determine where um, some overlap is so that there can be an agreement. Um, and typically, the, it's, it's uh, great outcomes because uh, you get to control where things go and um, it's 
done a lot quicker uh, because you don't have uh, days of trial, you don't have witnesses to examine, you don't have exhibits to prepare, um, but you, um, you don't have the formalities of trial to, to um, live up to. Um, not only then is it quicker, but then it, it also tends to be uh, less expensive because you're, you're cutting out all those other things. Now, it is still important to go into a mediation uh, prepared. But by and large, mediation, you, you, um, because you remain a decision maker, uh, this is another good thing, um, because you, at the end of the mediation, or the mediation only ends if you agree on the uh, proposal with the other side. No one can force you to accept the decision, uh, reach the mediation. And you agree, then usually we, we have people write it out and then sign it. And, and then, then you've reached something that you have consented to and you've agreed to, rather than in litigation, uh, if the judge says something, you, you live with it. You don't, get, you don't get a second chance, unless the judge really, really um, went out of his or her way to, um, to attack you or did something inappropriate. But again, because of the great deal of discretion that judges have, the um, court, court of appeal usually doesn't even take a look at it. Um, so that, that trial, that litigation is, is usually your, your one and only shot and you, you live with it or um, you live with it. Uh, that's, that's what you get. Mediation, on the other hand, you get to go back and forth and negotiate. Um, the, the other thing about uh, mediation is you can explore different options that a judge might not consider. Um, things that fit just your family um, that um, you can agree on um, that, that you wouldn't get out of a court. Uh, just because a court, a judge, uh, because of their workloads, they're looking for solutions that um, are quick, that are easy to determine, uh, that are easy to rule on, and that uh, will let them move on to the next case. Um, and that, that's just the reality of our, our legal system. Um, plus, the judge doesn't know all the history, and even after a day at trial, isn't going to know all the history and all the personality and, and the potential for success with any ruling they make. So, so those are all things that you still get to control in a mediation. Even though you might have to give up some of the things that you wanted, you can, you should give those up in exchange for things that you want more. And, and in that way, you, you really do uh, benefit from, from mediation. Um, like I started to say before, um, being prepared for mediation prepares you for success. Uh, a good family law attorney will help you with that. Um, and really focus on all the legwork that it takes to be prepared for mediation, um, including discoveries and organizing things so that, that you have a full financial picture, a full uh, parenting picture, um, and, and a, a future plan so that you know what it is that you need and, and what you don't need uh, before you get to mediation. I, uh, so, so there you have it, some of the good parts, uh, some uh, why mediation is better than litigation. Um, knowing, uh, having a full understanding of the difference is important when it comes to family law. Um, if you have any comments or questions, please do so below. Uh, like and subscribe to, to our videos so that you can uh, get more, but also so that it really helps uh, the videos, uh, helps us make more, helps other people see it. Um, so, uh, please do so. And if you're ready to move to the next step, please call 509-866-4111. Thank you.